Get it. Get that stick. Get that log. Get that log. Hey everyone, welcome to Saturdays with the Timmermans. I'm John Timmerman. And I'm Lindsay Dillon Timmerman. Welcome to our backyard. Thanks for joining us. This is one of our, our favorite spots. Thought it would be appropriate since this is like the first really nice day of spring of 2019. Um, it's gotta be, in fact, I'm pretty hot right now. It's gotta be like 65. Let me take your sweater off. This is Maybe 70. Sick. So, for those of you that have, haven't, have not watched one of our vlogs before, uh, every Saturday we film a show where we talk about um, life and things that we have going on, um, and hopefully it's not that you necessarily care like what we have going on, but we feel we can talk about it in a way that might help other people out there that are in similar circumstances and just trying to navigate this thing we call life. We wanted to talk a little bit about kind of how we juggle everything. You know, just, and I think that's pretty fitting for a lot of you out there that are trying to figure out how to juggle everything that's going on in their life between work and like maybe a side project or a side hobby, family time, friends time, health and fitness, good sleep, nutrition, all of that kind of stuff. So today we want to talk a little bit about that. So in terms of what's working for us, right? Like you guys all know, we have Jackson Jovi, um, I have a marketing agency uh, called Good Monster. Uh, Lindsay has a full-time job where she's working well over full-time now um, uh, due to circumstances at, at her job. We have two dogs. Uh, we love to spend time with our family. We uh, are both fans of CrossFit and try to get our workouts in. Uh, we just joined a nutrition challenge through CrossFit. Uh, and so we're juggling all of those things, right? So we talk a lot about how to map the things that we're doing. I think you use that term and it's a good term. Like, what's, how are we mapping our actions towards our goals? And so I just named probably the most important things in our life right now. Yep. Um, you know, oh, then there's like spending time with friends, right? Like, so things have to like take a back seat sometimes, right? And so one of the things that we constantly have to remind ourselves that should not take a back seat is time with family. And, you know, it's very important to us. Um, Lindsay's um, parents live about an hour away. Uh, my parents literally live right next door. So we do family dinners on a semi-regular ba basis. Right now it's about every two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a really thi important thing that we carve time out for. Even though, you know, Lindsay comes home from work and has to go right to family dinner or I'm in the middle of a project and you know I'm on a roll and and in my mind I you know I I don't want to stop or I have to constantly remind myself that you know once we get to family dinner it's fun it's good to see everybody and you know work can always wait I mean you know the 80 year old you looking back isn't gonna be like man I really wish I skipped family dinner that one time so that I could finish this project it's not, you know, that's never gonna happen. Yeah. And then another example, we, you know, wanting to make sure that we're able to see, you know, my parents. Uh, my dad was actually, he was back from Florida, so we had kind of talked in advance about, you know, making a point to spend time with him. So last night we traveled uh, home, home for me, and uh, went to a hockey game with him. Uh, spent the night, which was really fun. We had a ton of fun with him. Went to breakfast this morning and then came home and now we're filming this show because you know I think I look at it as you know it's just a matter of like juggling your top priorities and you kind of switch your focus from thing to thing so last night it was some family time today it's some work or some passion project type things tonight we're actually going for game night with our friends um, it's actually called mother game night all right it is actually the name <laughs> So we're gonna get ready for that and we're gonna bring uh, a dessert. So while that's cooking, we kind of 
strategize what can we do to be the most efficient with our time while the dessert is kind of cooking. I'm probably gonna throw some laundry in the washer, we're gonna clean up some stuff around the house, we're gonna clean up some stuff outside, uh, just so that that way, even if you know something else comes up, at least we're attending to things a little bit um, and making sure that you know kind of our home life physically feels a little bit more organized, kept up on, and that way we're ready to go for the week. Most often, one week isn't gonna look exactly the same to the next week, right? Like you kind of have to juggle certain things that are maybe a little bit more important this week or this other thing is happening and I think just as long as you're remembering these are my top priorities, so let me make sure that these are attended to first and then I have time to, to fit in some of those things that are um, in on your radar but not necessarily your top priorities. And what helps for me actually is 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 understanding that everything can't get done all at the same time. Like in my nature, yeah. that's that's what I want. Like I want to be able to do everything and I want to, you know, get it all done and and be able to at least touch on every single thing that I want to be able to do and cram it all in there. And you know, I've taught myself uh, and am constantly teaching myself that there's certain things that just aren't as important. My health is ultimately really important to me and that's something that John has been really supportive, even pushing, you know, for me to, you know, prioritize my health, take better care of myself. Um, and deep, deep down, that is like a core value. That's something that I am very, very grateful for. That's something that I appreciate. Um, at the same time, when it comes to the day-to-day -day choices and the busyness of life and the you know, constantly what feels like a constantly growing to-do list. You know, at the end of the day when I get work and I come home and I feel like there's so many things that I need to get done between after work time and before I fall asleep, that I try to get done as much as I can and then it reaches a certain point where I feel like I have to choose between getting this or this or this done or doing my workout or getting this or this or this done um, and sleeping less in order to get those things done. And John's really good about, you know, reminding me, probably on a constant basis, that, you know, even though today, yes, it might feel like this particular thing really needs to get done and it's really, really important, but don't forget, like, you need to do your workout because that actually helps you feel better. It helps you feel less stress. It helps pump those endorphins through your body. It's going to help your overall health in the long run. You know, look at the compounding, you know, effects if you don't get enough sleep. Like, you are more tired, you end up, you know, being more impatient or irritable. Um, I'm much more likely and prone to, I think, trigger migraines if I don't get enough sleep, if I don't drink enough water, if I don't take enough care of myself. Um, but it's really easy for me to kind of get swept up in the choices of, no, no, but this and this and this has to get done, you know, on that kind of to-do list. So, you know, I think that's, that's a good example of what you were saying. And I know that lots of you have, have things like that, right? Like, how can I do this thing for myself when I know I need to, you know, get the laundry run or run errands or go grocery shopping or, you know, take care of the kids or do something for my husband or my wife or the house or whatever. Um, but I think, you know, remembering that taking care of yourself and prioritizing taking care of your relationships is far more important than making sure that you did that extra load of laundry. Yeah, and I mean, we get it. I get it. Like, there's just... We all kind of live in yeah. this this space where there's just things flying all around at all times, right? And the older you get, the more that happens. Because, you know, when you're a kid, you're focused on a few a few things. Probably your friends and, you know, whatever your hobbies or your passions are, right? If you play sports or something like that. And as you get older, there's more responsibilities, there's more things and, and that you have to grab on a daily basis and take care of. You know, this is when bills come in and you have responsibilities at your job or then you have kids and then, you know, and then then you're also in charge of their responsibilities and, and all of that kind of, you know, spirals, right? So, again, what works for us, not all the time, but I feel like when we are in a good place, what is working well with all of these things that we're juggling is that obviously scheduling time for things, uh, especially because we're in, you know, work-driven, capitalistic-driven type society that, you know, work is the majority of our lives for, for a lot of us. So understanding that there's really, really important things, mo mostly more important things 
when you look at the scope of your entire life other than work that you really need to schedule the time into and you know everyone has their own family situations and things like that but at least for us scheduling this time with our family you know our parents our brothers and sisters you know their kids my nephews scheduling that time in is is really important more important than what we honestly want to work on a lot of times like like I want to go and work on Jackson Jovi I want to go work on Good Monster because that's in my nature and uh, you know Lindsay has to go to her job like we have these other things that we have to make sure we're saying okay like remember family is more important and then we're like yep it is so let's go do this thing with family or let's take time on a Saturday to start a vlog to talk about you know all the stuff that is important to us and how to navigate it and hopefully it'll help other people there because honestly this show helps me like reflect on that you know like the stuff we talk about and the major the reason we started the show was so that we could stay on the same page and we could do workouts together two bring it right back to your shoulders on your shoulders three it's just something we schedule in that's important for our long-term goals yeah and that's something that you know John you really wanted for us to be able to do together a little bit more, right? Like because our schedules are very different and we're doing so many different things during the week, you really wanted, that was something that was important to you. You wanted a time that we would work out together. It was a way that we could also come together to do some sort of like activity and what a better activity is to work out also fills like kind of the workout bucket. So they're kind of doing both, spending yeah. time together and working out. And I think it helps us like bond together in a little, in a bit different, but a, like better way um, to challenge each other, to encourage each other. I think it, it does a lot of things. So, you know, at first it was like, well, how could we possibly do that? You know, my mind kind of goes to all the reasons why I won't, some, something won't work first. And then usually John's rebuttal is every reason how we can make it work, which is good. And you know, we came up with the suggestion or the idea of doing it on Saturday, so that way it was something to look forward to. We knew it was at least once a week that we would be able to do something together, the show and the workout, some sort of activity, so that no matter what comes up during the week, that's something that we knew we wanted to do. And so it's, you know, it's, it's only once a week and it might be for 10 minutes, but I think the fact that we make a point to make sure that that happens every week in the long run that's that's how we've changed it to become a new habit yeah you know and i think that's key for anything that you know certainly something that we have struggled to do is figure out okay we already have so much on our plate how could we possibly fit one more thing in and it's not so much fitting one more thing in but kind of challenging ourselves okay how could we make this work mostly because john's creative with suggestions um how can we find a way to make this work this thing that we want to happen and remembering that, you know, I would say almost all of your life, you can change, create, or at least change to make it closer to what you want it to be, to creating your ideal life. That doesn't always happen, but I think remembering that the power is in the smallest decisions that we make sometimes, I think is really, really important. And so that's, I think, a good example about, you know, changing a habit, finding a way to make it happen, and starting to incorporate something into our regular you know, weekly routine. So I guess if there's one kind of piece of advice that we can give, maybe maybe that has worked with us and we bring up on a regular basis is, um, number one, it's all about mindset, right? So like, you just gotta, you have to understand what your goals are and understand that there's gonna have to be things that bend and break a little bit in order to, to achieve the really important goals. And also make sure you're setting your goals based on, uh, what the 80 year old you would want you to do. I mean, that's that's yeah. literally a sentence that I use with Lindsay a lot and yep. we use when making dis decisions is like, what's the 80 year old you looking back at this moment right now and the decisions you're making, think about it. Are they going to say like, yep, that's where you need to spend your time, that's what you need to do? Or are they gonna be like, like dude, that's not important. Uh, map your goals to what 80 year old you wants to uh, achieve and make sure you're in a mindset to uh, understand the importance of those. And hopefully, you'll make it work.
But you know what time it is? What time is it, John? <laughs> Let's go! Work out! Go get him, Joe! Get that stick. Get that log. Get that log. Get it. Get that log. Get that log. Get it. Get it. Get it. You silly. Come on, let's go. Let's do one more. Let's go, let's, let's go work out. Okay, okay. Ready? ready? Let's go! Work out! Okay, that one might have been better. <laughs> 